Inhabit none of this. None of them. It's absolutely right. Right. Somebody give me John chapter 14 and read the 15th verse. Everybody going to church on the wrong day of the week. They tell you it's okay to eat pork. Like right here, we got the barbecue gear grill over here. You know, I can bet you about a hundred dollars to swine on that grill. Yep, John chapter 14. Right. John, That's an easy victory 14. bet. Go ahead. Verse 15. Go ahead. If ye love me. So the Bible says, if you love me. Go ahead. If ye love me, keep my commandments. So the Bible says, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's right. We go to church on Sunday. That's the first day of the week. Did you know that the fourth commandment is remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy? That's right. Right now is the Sabbath day. That's right. My pastor get all these degrees that can't count. 
Sunday is the first day of the week. Read it again. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Do what I tell you to do. That's as simple as that. Keep the commandments. You get people to come out, oh, well, I love God. I love him. Then what are the commandments? But if you ask them, you know the commandments? Well, yeah, I know them. All right, name the Ten Commandments. Oh, then they get stuck. They get stuck. This is the basic instructions before leaving earth. This is the answer key to getting to the kingdom. Not what thus said the pastor. It's time to come back to the law of the commandments of the most high. Right. You get people say, oh, well, that's the Old Testament. The Old Testament is done away with. And they twist Paul's writing because they don't understand the Old Testament. Matter of fact, somebody drop that, give me a uh, second Peter chapter three. Because even Peter, we're on record and talked about Paul's writings being hard to be understood. And we about to get that right now. Because you get people, oh, well, well, is that Old Testament or New Testament? Anytime somebody come up and say that, we know that you are uh, learned in the Bible. Any, anytime somebody say, well, what version Bible or what's your religion? We know that you are uh, learned in the Bible. You have not studied and shown yourself approved. Uh. Yeah, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 15. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 15. Go ahead. And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Go ahead. Even as our beloved brother Paul. Our beloved brother who? Our beloved brother Paul. So Peter is going on record for Paul. Go ahead. Also, according to the wisdom given unto him uh -huh. as written unto you. Go ahead. As also in all his wisdom. So and also in all his writings. Because you Christians love to twist Paul's writings. Saying the Old Testament is done away with. Paul did not come to do away with the commandments. Right. He only taught the transitioning of the priesthood. Right. From the order of Aaron, which is also known as the Levitical priesthood, which is also known as the law of the priest. It went from that to the order of Melchizedek. That's what Paul was teaching. Go ahead. Also according to the wisdom given unto him, has written unto you. Go ahead. As also in all his wisdom. Uh -huh. Speaking in view of these things. In these things, go ahead. In which are some things hard to be understood. So some things are what? Hard to be understood. Paul's writings is very difficult. It's hard to be understood, but go ahead. Which they that are unlearned. To the people who are unlearned. Unstable, go ahead. Double minded As men. To twist. Go ahead. As they do also the other scriptures. So, what other scriptures that was established at the time Peter was writing this? It was the Old Testament. So, he's right. telling you that if you are unlearned in the Old Testament, you are guilty for twisting Paul's writing. Right. So, you get people to say, oh, well, Paul said this. Well, let's just say if Paul was contradicting Christ, those words are you going to choose? You gonna choose the man or you gonna choose the Messiah? But we know that's not the case though. Somebody drop that. Give me um, bro, give me um, Romans chapter seven. How you doing, bro? Love is according to the Bible? Yes, I do. What's love? No, actually, I don't. I'm going to show you. He said second, he don't. Right. Yeah, go to 2 John chapter uh, 1 and you go to uh, 1 John chapter 5. We'll show you what love is according to the Bible, bro. Yeah, we got you, bro. Thanks, Check this out. 2 John. Go ahead. Verse 6. And this is love. So the Bible says this is love. Go ahead. That we walk. After his commandments. And we walk out his commandments. See that? Yeah. That's love, right? You got uh first time. 
Hold on. I go ahead, bro. This is the commandment that as ye heard, have heard from the beginning. From the beginning ye should walk in it. You should walk in it. That's the love. Oh, good, good. Hold right. on. Let me give you another one. Take the First John chapter yeah. 5. Yeah. We, we don't do all that, uh, you know, that's, yeah, yeah. that's that Christianity. Yeah, yeah, that's that, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, we don't do that. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's part of religion, though. Yeah. We giving you love now. Yeah, yeah, we giving you love now. Love is right now, man. Yeah, yeah, love love right now, man. Yeah, yeah, we are already showing yeah. love with our okay, people by sharing the word of God, man. John chapter 5. Listen to this, bro. Verse 22. Go ahead. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ uh -huh. is born of God. Uh-uh, no, give me a first John chapter 5. That's it, John chapter 5. Yeah, uh-huh. First, that, first three. Verse three. For well, this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. So you see that? The Bible says, this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. His commandments are not grievous. I'm going to show you this. Go to Luke 4 and 4. I'm going to show you what we eating right now. Go to Luke 4 and 4. You give me Matthew 4 and 4. He said he but he he heard to please us. He just being nice at the right. moment. Ain't nothing oh, wrong with cool, that, bro. Man. May the most high be cool. with you. Yeah, we can accept that. We yeah, just here for the We we nah, cool. We, we thank you for that. You know, we just here for Is there any uh, we gotta ask you though, is there any swine over there on that grill? No. There's no swine over there on that grill? Actually we could be, but is there any uh, has there any been on that grill today? Yes. Then we can't partake. I do apologize. Well we thank you for your offer. Yeah, we do thank you, Luke 4 and 4. Go ahead. And Jesus answered him saying, uh -huh. it is written. So when the Bible, when you the New Testament, and when it says it is written, that means it's written in the Old Testament. Go ahead. That man shall not live by bread alone. We don't live by bread alone. Go ahead. But by every word of God. By, by every word of the Most High. Go ahead. And the devil, taking him up into a high mountain, uh -huh. showed unto him all the kings of the world. Right. That's what I want you to read. Go ahead. Get uh, 4 and 4. You want to go down there? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Relocation, I'll praise to the most high. 